Hi everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter and I'm here with a card project for you today. Today is the Studio Calico release of the November card kit. This card kit is called Walden and it has some really fabulous embellishments in there. You see that wood veneer there? I also love these black, um, I they're kind of like an acrylic sentiment and then there's that cute little deer and over on my blog I have more projects using this card kit so you can check it out today. And this is a look at the pattern paper that comes in the kit as well. Now, I've already been playing with some of this, so you're going to see some of it's already out. But um, I just really love the patterns in this month's card kit. So today I'm going to make a card using the stamp set, and I'm going to use this acorn shape. Now, this has a sentiment with it that says, I'm nuts about you, and um, it's going to be super fun. So... Let's get started. I'm going to start by inking up the base. This is the solid base of the acorn with some Doc Brown Color Theory ink. Now I'm just going around the edge and then what I did is I stamped it off on a plain piece of white paper and then I took a kind of not so wet baby wipe and kind of dabbed around the edges to where I'd kind of soften up those lines and then without re-inking it, remember I stamped off already, I'm going to stamp onto this pattern paper that comes in the kit. I don't often stamp on pattern paper but this one reads really solid so it's a really good, I, it's a really good option for stamping on a pattern paper. Now I'm going to take the solid top piece to this acorn. I'm going to ink the whole thing up in the Doc Brown Color Theory ink, and then I'm going to stamp it on top of my acorn there. I stamped it off on that piece of white paper again. Now I want to emboss over this image, and so what I'm doing is I'm going ahead and heat setting this ink, because if the ink is still wet, it will hold on to the embossing powder, and I don't want it to hold on to this ink. I want it to hold on to the Versamark ink. So in order to make sure that it's dry enough, I went ahead and heat set it, and then I tested it with some embossing powder. It wasn't quite dry enough, so I went ahead and wiped off the embossing powder that stuck, and then re-heat set it again for a little bit longer, and then it was good, good to go. So now I'm inking up in Versamark ink. This is the top kind of detail portion of that acorn piece, and I stamped that over the solid part. And then this sentiment says, I'm nuts about you, but I only want to put nuts about you. So I inked the whole thing up in Versamark ink, and I'm just using my thumb to wipe away the part that says I'm, so th that that won't stamp at all. Once I got that all just the way I wanted it, I added my gold embossing powder. And then here's a little trick. If you get some embossing powder where you don't want it, you can take a dry brush and just go in and wipe that away. So once I got that all fixed up there, I heat set it, and then I have my lovely gold um, sentiment and kind of detail on the top. I decided I wanted a little more shading, so I just took my ink pad and I squished the ink pad into the top so you can see that ink that's sitting in the top of that ink pad there. And then I just took a blender pen. Now this is something I had from Stampin' Up! years ago. And I'm just grabbing some of that ink and adding some more shading to the top part and then around the base of that. And then to add a little shadow on the sentiment, I just took a Copic marker. This is like a warm gray color, very light color, and just added some shading. And then I fussy cut my nut out. So now that I have my main focal point done. I grabbed some of the pattern papers from the kit. Now I really love that cork one, but the nut did not stand out enough if I just put it on that. So I'm going to be cutting out some shapes. That tag is from the tag collection from Studio Calico, their own die set, and I love that. And then I just cut a circle out of that gray wood grain paper. That's another one of my favorite papers from this month's kit. And I took some Nina 110 pound cardstock and created my A2 card base. That was cut to four and a quarter by 11, so I scored it at five and a half and then just made a really nice crease at the top. And then I could start kind of assembling all these pieces onto my card front. Now I started out by adhering that circle. That circle I just put on to the front of the card with some regular tape runner adhesive and I kind of left the edge kind of hanging over. I like to do this with circle pieces. I think um, kind of adds a little more interest to the card rather than the whole circle being on there. And then I have like this green colored and this plaid pattern paper that I'm just adding with a little bit of Tombow Mono Multi Glue. 
this wood veneer heart is also included in the kit and I'm just going to adhere that to the front of the card with some Tombow Mono Multi Glue as well. And then I cut a couple of little hearts from the cork um, pattern paper and put those on there as well. Now I'm gonna give you a little hint. This is how I decide if I wanna round the corners. I hold my hand over the corner, just like I did there, and I see kinda of how it's going to look, and then I decided I wanted the corner rounded, so I did that. And then I just added a little bit of string to the tag for my last finishing touch. And that completes my card for today. Remember, you can see lots more projects using the Walden Card Kit over on my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com. And the links for the products used in this project are available over at my blog as well as in the description at YouTube. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a fabulous day.